Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dima Tutorials. As you can see, today we are two. Please pardon me, you're going to be seeing many of my videos during this holiday. She always insists on staying with me when I'm doing a video. So today I want us to talk about some words that you find in this social section in the place where you have to answer questions on synonyms and antonyms. That is, words that are close in meaning and words that are opposite in meaning. I've carefully selected some recurring words that you see in those sections. So without wasting time, let's get to it. I'm going to be focusing on words that are opposite in meanings. Words that are opposite in meaning. So what I'm going to do is to mention a word, give the word that is opposite to it, then explain the word and make a sentence with the word. Are you ready? Now let's get to it. Now the first one I'm going to look at is mediocre. I see this word often in past patients. Now the word that is opposite in meaning to the word mediocre is excellent, exceptional, excellent, exceptional. When you say something is mediocre, the thing is average. The thing is not so good. If you say I'm a mediocre teacher, it means that you don't consider me as an excellent teacher. You don't consider me as a very good teacher. You consider me as an average teacher. But I think I'm a very good teacher. I'm not mediocre, okay? I'm not mediocre and you that is watching this video is not mediocre. For you to be watching video on YouTube, for you to be watching video online, it means that you're not a mediocre student. You don't depend on what to learn in class. You want to know better than what you've been taught in the class. So you are not a mediocre student. And I am not a mediocre teacher, okay? Opposite of mediocre is excellent or exceptional. Now let's go to the next one. Contemptuous. Contemptuous. The word contentious is from the word content. Content. When you feel content for someone or something, it means that you dislike the thing. You abhor the thing. You hate it. You don't like it. So when someone says that he feels contentious about a thing, it means that he doesn't like the thing or he doesn't like the person. And the opposite of contentious is like, respectful, admirable. So these are words that are opposite in meaning to the word contentious. Now, if I hate someone and I want to express that I hate the person or I do not respect the person and I want to express this through my look, I can go like this. So guys, that's how to give someone a contentious look. A look that shows that you do not respect the person, you don't like the person. If you feel contentious about someone, it means that you do not like the person, you do not have respect for the person. You, you feel content for the person, you design the person. That's, so that's what it means to feel contentious about a thing. I hope you understand that. Now let's go to the next one. The next one is still. Still. The word opposite to meaning to the word still is open, public. Because the word still means secret, quiet. Secret, quiet. If you said she walked into the room still, still it can mean that she tiptoed quietly. That no one noticed when she enters the room. So that's the meaning of the word still. Now let's get the next one. The next one is derogatory. I see this very often in WASP. I'm not saying jump. Derogatory. Derogatory. The opposite of the word derogatory is complimentary. Crazy. Complimentary. Crazy. Because derogatory means insulting. It means to show critical attitude towards someone. Thank you. Thank you. I should open it for you. Sorry, guys. It means to show critical attitude towards someone. So please do not leave a derogatory statement in my comment section. It takes a lot to do videos for you guys. Do not leave a derogatory statement in my comment section, okay? Thank you for keeping to the community rules. Now, the next one we're going to consider is summary. Summary. And the opposite of the word summary is peace. Calm. Peace. Calm. Because the word summary means trouble. This is describing a state of confusion, a state of anxiety. So the opposite of the word is calm, peace. So when you are peaceful, you are not anxious. When you are peaceful, you are not worried about anything. Okay? So when someone is in turmoil, you know that the person is in trouble, the person is confused, the person is, is anxious. Okay? So that is it. Let's go the next one. Plausible. The word that is opposite in meaning to the word plausible is unbelievable. Implausible. Unbelievable. Implausible. Because the word plausible means believable. It is not describing a statement. It is not describing an excuse or an explanation. 
that is believable, that is reasonable, and is likely to be true. For example, I said the reason I upload educational videos on YouTube is because I want to help students do what in their exams without my practice. Is that plausible? Is that believable? Does it sound reasonable? Yes, it does. It sounds plausible. It is believable. It's likely to be true. It's likely that the reason I upload um, educational videos on YouTube and on other platforms is because I want to help students pass their exams without engaging in examination malpractice. Now, if I say the reason I upload educational videos on YouTube is because I want to help students in practicing examination malpractice, is it plausible? Does it sound reasonable? Does it sound like something that could make me um, be uploading educational videos on YouTube? Is it believable? Of course not. So it is implausible. Another word, another word that is opposite to meaning to the word plausible is skeptical. Skeptical. If you are skeptical about something, it means that you do not believe the thing. It means that it doesn't sound reasonable to you. I mean, something doesn't sound reasonable to you, you are skeptical about it. I hope that is clear enough. All right, guys, that's why I'll be ending today's video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking at more ways in my next video. Please stay tuned to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and on the notification bell so that you can get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next time. See you next time. All right, guys. See you next time. See you very soon in my next video. Bye.